Y'all see the title, man. Let's get to it. The Denver Nuggets were crowned the title of the 2023 NBA champions. With the remarkable greatness of Nikola Jokic and the relentlessness of his point guard Jamal Murray, they were able to walk through the West and pick up their first ring. Now, if you told me eight years ago that the Denver Nuggets would become champions led by the 41st pick in the NBA draft and smashing records to lead the team to their first... Well, I sound like, bro, like, not talking like like he's uh, near it. It sounds like he's talking like low, like... Type Franchise championship? Okay. I would have called you absolutely crazy. Because it is. Nikola Jokic had one of the single craziest playoff performances I have ever worn witness to. With numbers so ridiculous, you would laugh when you saw them. It might just be his mic though. Throughout NBA history, the triple-double has been an incredible feat to achieve. However, one of the most impressive stat lines has been deemed near impossible by those in the NBA. A 30, 20, and 10 year, accomplished by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Wilt Chamberlain, and of course, Nikola Jokic. Sheesh. Guess who's got the most? Yep. Out of the five times it's been achieved, Nikola Jokic achieved it three times in Kareem and Wilt's whole career. They each achieved it only once. Besides this, Nikola Jokic That's accomplished tough. something people didn't even think That's of. That's tough, because uh, Wilt played in the, the fastest pace uh, 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 era, but I think Kareem probably in this, uh, the, the pace is probably the same amount as Jokic right now. Was possible. That's Here's tough. the most number of postseason triple doubles a player's ever achieved. That's Down tough. near the bottom, we have the all time great Russell Westbrook. As we move along, we got LeBron James, near the top, Draymond Green. Oh, and here's Nikola Jokic. <laughs> Standing all alone with 10 triple doubles, smashing the previous record of 7. Now, as a center, you're expected to finish around the rim more and get rebounds. But look at this shot chart right here. Comparing, here's a normal big man, actually Hall of Famer big man, Shaquille yeah, O'Neal, yeah, all time great big man. Season. And here's Nikola Jokic. <sighs> Without a shadow of doubt, Jokic is a former Versailles scorer and can put up buckets pretty much anywhere from the floor. Let's look deeper. In fact, Jokic dominates Shaq in terms of every single offensive advanced stat there is. Mm. But wait, there's more. Let's look at another record that Jokic broke this season. When we first come to think of inhuman stats, the first person that comes to mind is Walt Chamberlain. In his best postseason ever, he had the remarkable stat line of 420 points, 320 rebounds, and 20 assists altogether. Keep in mind, that was his best season. Nikola Jokic ended this postseason with 600 points, 269 rebounds, and 190 assists. Jokic ends up destroying Walt in almost every single category. But what separates Jokic from the rest? Let's look at some of the greatest playoff runs ever. No, let's look at the best playoff run. When we think of the best playoff runs, the first thing we think of was probably team contribution. Team contribution can be referred to as the way a player helps the team on the court statistically. Let's take a look at this graph, measuring a player's overall contribution to the offensive side of the team regarding the time he's played. The further up left you are, the better. The further down right, the worse. Here's Shaq, Patrick Ewing, Moses Malone, Hakeem Olajuwon, and among this chart, standing all alone, is Nikola Jokic. Mm. Jokic is accounting for 28.7% of his team's total points, rebounds, and assists so far this postseason, including leading his team and league in every single one of those categories. That puts Jokic in the 99th percentile among all centers since 1951-52, to despite Jokic playing just 39 minutes per game. Let's not forget, Nikola Jokic was able to take the Denver Nuggets, an organization that has only gone in as far as the conference finals, to their very first championship. Next, we look at the individual achievements. You know what? In terms of individual achievement, there's not much more to be said. Since being drafted as the 41st pick in the middle of a Taco Bell commercial, he's become a 5-time All-Star, Finals MVP, NBA Champion, 2-time consecutive MVP, with 4 All-NBA First Teams and 1 NBA Second Team. Now, the last factor, the quality of opponents. Now, this is probably the most controversial one of the three which I'm going to talk about today. Many people have said the Nuggets have had the easiest run this season. They faced three playing teams and literally just Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and the occasional Chris Paul. This series, Nikola Jokic first faced off against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Let's take a look at their team, where they have all-star Anthony Edwards, former all-star Cole Anthony Towns, and a washed Rudy Gobert. 
Sure, this team isn't great, but they do have some all-star power. Let's look at Jokic's stats against the Minnesota Timberwolves. As you can see, nearly every single game, Jokic is putting up a high 20 triple-double. Honestly, on paper, there's no way you can look at me and tell me the Timberwolves are actually a horrible team. But let's look at what happened. Rudy Gobert failed to come back and both Cat and Ant failed to lead the team back from a 3-1 deficit, which all things considered, isn't that abnormal. Arguably the most stacked team here with Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, and DeAndre Ayton. This team was speculated to be so good that everybody thought it would be the first team that Chris Paul would get his ring in. In this series, uh, Kevin Durant fast. and Devin Booker put up some amazing numbers. With hey, both players having this is gonna be a crazy super team, unbeatable super team. Together nearly 60 combined Trash. points, 14 assists, <laughs> and 11 rebounds. With a team like that, Jokic still managed to take it to six hey, it games and completely <laughs> destroy them. Take a look at Jokic's like, numbers. Bro, you, six games, games, I can barely hear you, yeah? Games, he even put up 53, 4, and 11, even though he did lose the game. Like, but bro, it goes like, to show how good the Phoenix Suns actually were in the playoffs. Except they just weren't like good enough for Jokic. The Los Angeles Lakers were the third team that the Denver Nuggets faced in the series, most notably led by the great LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Unfortunately, the Los Angeles Lakers <laughs> are much more than that because of the big changes they made before and after the trade deadline. What this new Lakers team could have been is a big what-if of the 2023 NBA season. Could they have been higher than the 8th seed? We will never know, but this team certainly flipped themselves completely around. However, let's look at the things that we do have. Jokic swept the Lakers in four games, and put up some incredible numbers in the process. Facts. They stink. Lastly, the Denver Nuggets faced off the Miami Heat, the team that had gone through the play-ins and would have probably made the greatest playoff run ever if only they won the NBA championship. The Miami Heat were the second team ever as an eight seed to make the NBA Finals, the first of which was the New York Knicks in 1999. The Miami Heat is led by probably one of the best playoff performers ever, Jimmy Butler, and his all-star sidekick, Bam Adebayo. Now I've got to oh, give credit where it's due. Maybe we won the best, the best games in the series with the yeah. 156 points <laughs> You say there's a lot of people that game after game very well. Well, I mean, literal. yeah, because he does up his game in the in the in the playoffs. But. Shaq numbers on repeat. In fact, if you look at Jokic's numbers throughout this series, they're as consistent as every other game, showing Jokic's consistency and putting up godlike numbers. Mm. And there it is, Nikola Jokic in a nutshell. That's the end of this one, y'all. Y'all know what to do, man. If y'all enjoyed, share the video, click on the last reaction as well. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. That's a big thing. Click the bell um, next to the subscribe. You know what I'm saying? After you click subscribe, hit that bell notification. You know what I'm saying? So y'all get a notification every time I, 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 I post a video, you know? Hit the mod, yeah.